Good morning, afternoon, or evening, children. My name is Mr. Yang, and I will be reading the tale of the spider and the fly. I hope you guys enjoy the book. Let's jump right into it, shall we? The Spider and the Fly Based on the poem by Mary Howitt with illustrations by Tony D. Tierlizzi. Will you walk into my parlor? said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair, and I have many curious things to show you when you are there. Oh, no, no, said the little fly. To ask me is in vain, for who goes up your winding stairs can never come down again. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed? said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around. The sheets are fine and thin. And if you'd like to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh, no, no, said the little fly, for I've often heard it said, they never wake up again who sleep upon your bed. Said the cunning spider to the fly, Oh, dear friend, what can I do to prove the warm affection I've always felt for you? I have within my pantry good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please take a slice? Oh, no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry, and I do not wish to see. Oh, sweet creature, said the spider. You're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gazy wings, and how brilliant are your eyes. I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you'd step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. Oh, I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you're pleased to say and bidding your good morning now. I'll call in another day. The spider turned him round about and went into his den, for, well, he knew the silly fly would soon come again. So he wove a subtle web in a little corner sky and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then he came out of his door again and merrily did sing, Come hither, hither, hither! Pretty fly, with the pearl and silver wing, your robes are green and purple. There's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, but mine are as dull as lead. <sighs> alas, alas, how very soon the silly little fly, hearing his wily flattering words, came slowly fitting by. With buzzing wings she hung aloft, then nearer and nearer drew, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue, thinking only of her crested head. Poor foolish thing, at last! Up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. He dragged her upon his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlor, but she never came out again. And now, dear little children who may this story read, to idle, silly, 
flattering words, I pray you never give heed. Unto an evil counselor, close heart, and ear and eye, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. The end. I hope you children like this book. I, I want to. I want to. I want to know down in the comments how. What what part of this book did you like the most? What did you like the spider more? Did you like the fly more, or or did you just like the whole story in general? Um, thank you, thank you for thank you for watching.